And hello guys, welcome back. This is Pimped Assassin here, and today I'm going to show you a Industrial Craft 2 tutorial for all the new beginners out there who just started, and you have no clue of what to do. So first of all, you have to roam around your world a bit. Obviously, I'm a um, flat world, so you won't find these naturally. But in your world, when you have the mod installed, you'll find these kind of weird looking trees that look like spruce. But they're not. They are rubber trees. And with rubber trees, once you destroy, obviously the wood will drop. And you'll sometimes get saplings. And you'll get... Um, rarely, well not rarely, occasionally you'll get sticky resin. Now with sticky resin, once you put it into an extractor, you will get rubber. But don't worry, we'll get into that later. Now, in addition to the new trees, you also get new ores. Tin, uranium, and copper. Copper is used for so much things unbelievable, but luckily, there's a lot of it. Uranium, you'll get into it eventually when you get into industrial craft. You'll mainly need it for nuclear reactors to get powers and stuff like that. For tin, this is also needed quite a lot. But unfortunately, it's not as common as copper. It, I think it's the same rarity as iron. But yeah, these are the new three blocks you need. And you need a lot of these. Well, mainly tin and copper to get mining. Now, to get rubber, which is needed a lot, like seriously a lot, industrial craft. What you have to do is get a furnace, sticky resin, place it into the furnace. Now I'll get to just to make it faster. Now, as you can see, by smelting sticky resin, you get rubber. And you'll need to smelt a lot of these, so get smelting. Now, with the copper you guys have mined, and the rubber you guys have smelted, you need to make copper cables, which is also needed a lot. So, you need to place it like this. You need six of these. You need three copper in the middle, which gives you six copper cables. Now I will show you how to make a battery, which is also needed, not that much, but quite a lot. To make it, four tin, like this, two redstone in the middle, and one copper cable right there. This gets you an MTRE battery. Now, with everything I've shown you so far, you will now make the beginning power source, a bat box. For this, you need three RE batteries in the middle, like this. One copper cable right in the middle top, and then for the rest of the um, spaces, fill in it in with blocks, any kind. So now you have got a bat box, the first but minimal power source. And now what you need to make is refined iron, which is needed incredibly so much in industrial craft. So you guys will have to mine a lot, a lot of iron. And in case you get a mace rail, which doubles like your ores into two, which I'll get into later. So to make refined iron, go into a furnace, coal, normal iron, and then wait till it fully smelts. Now as you can see, it makes refined iron. Now with the refined iron, you will need to make a machine block. You need eight of these, and you place it around the edges of the crafting table like this, and you get a machine block. Now you will make the first generator, which powers your bat box, and for this you will need a furnace, a machine block, and a normal empty battery and you get a generator. So place the generator anywhere you want. Then get your bat box, you place it down. Now to power the generator, you will need coal. Simply get coal, put it into the bottom slot of the generator. As you can see, it is powering this. Now, the output and input of this is, see this um, little circle thing here? that is the output so all the other sides of this will mean the input so any power source system will go into the sides of this without the hole it will power that 
and then if you need to power uh, macerators, extractors, or anything like that, from this circle, place wires and make it go into the operating systems. So now we will make an extractor. For this, you will need tree taps, and you make this as so. You get tree taps. With tree taps, you can go to any rubber tree um, trees, and you look for something like this. You right-click it with the rubber tree, and it gives you the sticky situation or the achievement. It gives you sticky resin instead of having a chance of getting it when breaking the tree now you will need electronic circuits which you also need quite a lot in industrial core to make electronic circuits you will need copper cables like this two redstone dust and one refined iron in the middle and you get electronic circuit to make the extractor place the four tree traps like this, place a machine block which I've already told you how to make at the top like this and your um, electronic circuit like that you get an extractor. Now as I've told you to hook up the extractor from the output place a cable and just place the extractor down anyway like this and it is now powering the extractor. Okay so now you can see that's fully it's full because of me powering the generator so what the extractor does is if you put one sticky resin inside it will three it will make it into three um, rubber instead of making it one which you if which you would get if you put it into a normal furnace it does take quite a long time but you can speed this up with overclockers which you will get in later see three robot instead of getting one and you will need this quite a lot because you need a lot of rubber in industrial craft like a lot the next equipment you will need is a mace rater to make a mace rater you will need three flint at the top like this cobblestone two cobblestone like that a machine block and electronic circuit and now you'll get a mace rail. So once you've placed down your mace rail, right click it. And what the ba mace rail basically does is if you put any ore inside, it will smelt it and give you twice the ore and you, you get in one. So instead of getting one iron out of one iron ore, you will get two. This makes it extremely efficient because you need iron, gold, stuff like that a lot in the future of industrial craft as you saw there we got two iron dust now with the iron dust you place it into a furnace and as you saw we get two iron ingots that's pretty much it for now for part one so join me next time for part two as we go into more equipment that helps you out so like, favorite, subscribe guys, thank you very much, have a good day.